Africa. Nothing prepares you for the experience of a lifetime when you travel to the second largest continent on earth. As you enter the heart of this remarkable land, there are not enough superlatives to describe the sights, the sounds, and the aromas that delight and assault your senses as you are welcomed by the hospitable people of Africa. In 2016, we embarked on a two-week safari in East Africa and visited Amboseli National Park in Kenya, Lake Manyara National Park, Ngoro Ngoro Crater, Serengeti National Park in the Western Serengeti in Tanzania, and the Masai Mara National Reserve in Kenya. We spent the first two nights of our African adventure in Nairobi as we adjusted to the 10-hour time difference. While in the capital city of Kenya, we visited the David Sheldrick Wildlife Trust and Elephant Orphanage. The trust operates an orphan, elephant, and wildlife rehabilitation program with a large population of baby and juvenile elephants. The elephants are hand-raised by their keepers who provide love and care for these orphans until they are old enough to be reintroduced into another herd of elephants in the wild. It was amazing to see the deep bond that is formed between the elephants and their keepers who bottle feed and sleep next to them. Amboseli National Park is a six and one half hour drive from Nairobi with much to see along the way. Farming is the largest cash crop for the country where maize, flour, coffee, tea and flowers are cultivated. As we traveled, the landscape began to change to unspoiled savannas dotted with cactus, rocky thornbush, termite mounds, and acacia trees. Amboseli National Park is one of Kenya's oldest and most famous parks and sits in the shadow of Africa's highest mountain, Mount Kilimanjaro, at 19,141 feet. The park is home to populations of more than 50 large mammals and over 400 species of birds, and we were astonished by the sheer number of animals we saw. During our game drives, we saw giraffe, zebra, elephants, cheetahs, hippos, wildebeest, cape buffalo, spotted hyenas, warthogs, jackals, and a lioness lounging on the grassland savanna. Harems of impalas would stroll just beyond the outdoor patio of our lodge in the evening, adding to the magic that is Africa. We met Maasai, one of Africa's best known tribes, for the first time during our stay in Amboseli. They are a semi-nomadic group of people who move from place to place in search of water and grazing for their cattle. They are statuesque with an impressive presence and displayed impeccable manners in their interactions with us. Our safari continued deeper into the heart of Africa as we moved on into Tanzania en route to Lake Manyara National Park. While we were in this area, we visited a Maasai village to experience a way of life that has gone virtually untouched for thousands of years. Members of the tribe welcomed us with a song and a dance, and we were given a shuka, the brightly colored blankets worn by the Maasai, to wear before we were escorted into their village enclosure. Once inside, the men performed a traditional jumping dance and then we were invited to dance with them as we passed by our hosts and bumped shoulders in the form of a greeting. After an incredible morning of touring their village and learning about the traditions and experiencing a culture that is afforded to only a few, we returned to our hotel perched on the edge of a bluff above the Rift Valley and its Soda Lake. Lake Manyara National Park is known as the home of the tree climbing lion and is an excellent destination for bird watchers with over 400 species. We particularly enjoyed being entertained by hundreds of great white pelicans and were startled when a large troop of baboons casually sauntered through the grounds of the resort just beyond the patio door of our room. Their presence reminded me of the quote, we aren't in Kansas anymore, Toto, and reinforced the fact that Africa is a wild and untamed place. Ngoro Ngoro Crater 
is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and our lodge was perched on the rim of the world's largest inactive volcanic caldera, which formed when a volcano exploded and collapsed on itself more than two million years ago. The crater is 2,000 feet deep, and the floor of the crater covers 100 square miles and is home to over 25,000 animals. We spent an extraordinary day on the floor of the crater, marveling at all of the animals that inhabit this magnificent park. Our safari traveled on, headed for Serengeti National Park. Serengeti means endless plain and is derived from the Maasai word Serengeti. The park covers 5,700 square miles, approximately the size of Connecticut, and is also a UNESCO World Heritage Site because of its biodiversity and ecological significance. Before arriving at our destination for the night, we stopped to watch a cheetah who appeared to be posing for my camera and three lionesses frolicking at the base of a tree with their seven cubs. Probably one of the highlights of the trip was a flight on a hot air balloon over the Serengeti. It was still dark when we arrived at the launch site and workers were readying our balloon for the flight. I must admit, I was extremely nervous as we climbed into the basket and received instructions on how to attach our safety belts and what to expect when we landed. The workers pulled off the ropes, tethering us to the ground, and we launched just as the sun was rising over the Serengeti. The balloon rose slowly and my nervousness evaporated as we floated over the vastness of the Serengeti Plains. Our pilot skimmed along the tops of trees and we climbed to a maximum height of 1,400 feet. From our vantage point, we spotted baboons, Nile crocodiles and hippos in the river, giraffe, monkeys, marabou storks, cape buffalo, gazelle, wildebeest, and many different types of birds. All too soon, our flight that was just over an hour in length came to an end and we toasted a successful flight. And for us, our very first hot air balloon experience with a bottle of champagne followed by an elegant English breakfast served in the bush. We traveled back over the border into Kenya for the last national park on our safari, the Maasai Mara National Reserve. During our two weeks in East Africa, we had seen the big five synonymous with an African safari. Lions, elephants, Cape buffalo, rhinoceros, and the elusive leopard. With all that we had seen and experienced, we were about to have one more exhilarating experience during our final game drive. Our driver pulled into a clearing and soon a tower of 12 giraffes emerged from a copse of trees just beyond us and surrounded our vehicles. We watched them as they gracefully strode past, lingered to look at us, or stopped to eat some of the tall grass. Seeing so many of these magnificent animals in one place was the perfect ending to a trip of a lifetime. Africa defies description, and I fell in love with this incomparable place. The people we met were some of the most welcoming and friendly, and you were always greeted with Jambo, which is Swahili for hello and a smile. Africa is much more than the people, the animals, and the incredible beauty of the landscape. Africa is a feeling, a life-changing experience that evokes deep emotions of joy and wonder, as well as heart-wrenching sadness for the poverty that exists. Yes, Africa defies description, but once you've been there, you feel a deep connection to this unique place and its people, and you sense a strong magnetic force urging you to return. We made a second trip to South Africa in 2017, and I hope we can make yet a third trip to experience more of what this incredible continent has to offer.